must always remember who is our real enemy. If we do not identify India as our real enemy and focus all our resistance on her, we will face a bigger disaster. If any unusual incident happens in Bangladesh, you will assume without thinking that India is behind it. You will easily come to this conclusion if you review the recent terrorist activities of Mr. Nathan Baum and the so-called Cookie Chin National Front or the two flights that flew directly from Israel to Dhaka. Let us discuss these issues in detail. We try to find a connection between different events. Who are Cookie Chins? Why are they now in the field? Less than three months before Bangladesh's 7th of January 2024 farce elections, India is presenting us with the drama Kuki Chin. To properly understand what this play is, we have to look at the main hero of the terrorist organization, Mr. Nathan Baum, the leader of the so-called Kuki Chin National Front. Mr. Nathan Baum called for the establishment of an independent country by cutting apart from the body of the Chittagong Hill tracks of Bangladesh. About this state, I say, Narendra Modi is doing Ram Rajya and Mr. Nathan Baum is doing Baum Rajya. Where does he want to establish? He or his organization Kaki Chin. National Front is segregating from Bangladesh an area that borders India's Mizoram and Myanmar with Bangladesh. Look at the map, everyone. View the border section with the main map of Bangladesh. And see where Myanmar is on this map. Now imagine this bomb state established. Significant changes are coming to our map. That is, the Great China is coming to our border as the rebels of Myanmar have won, and China coming to our border is a very positive thing. For our independence and sovereignty. So whatever happens in the coming days, will happen around this area. India does not want us to have any border with China. So what can happen if Mr. Natom Bomb becomes Bomb Land or Bomb Rajya? Firstly, the border between Myanmar and Arakan state with Bangladesh will no longer exist. Bomb Rajya will run entirely at the mercy and will of India. So if this state is established, there will be no border with Bangladesh except India. In other words, if the sea is excluded, India will surround us in all other directions. Secondly, Great China has taken its BRI project with areas near the borders of Bangladesh and Myanmar. And China has expanded its borders in this region. As a result, Bangladesh is considered India's backyard by various quarters of India and is no longer valid. Because China has come to our border. Now if this bomb state is established, there will be no border connection between Myanmar and China with Bangladesh. Road and rail connectivity between China and Bangladesh can be established immediately if BRI is associated with the project. If Mr. Nathan Baum establishes the Baum Kingdom then that will not be possible. Bangladesh will be dependent on India forever. Herein lies the real danger. Thirdly, the massive defeat of the Myanmar junta forces in Arakan state destroyed India's planned transit there. India spent $500 million on this project. There, $500 million were lost at once. If Mr. Nathan's bomb state is established, India will be able to open a new transit route from Mizoram through bomb state. Fourthly, if India could once establish a bomb state, it would be able to continue spying on China's activities more effectively from that state's soil. Fifth, as I have already said, India will have complete supremacy over the so-called bomb state. Let me explain the reason. As, as you already know, the Kukichin ethnic group is a very small minority in the region where Mr. Nathan Baum is claiming statehood. How can such a small minority claim such a big place? Isn't it surprising? There is a deep conspiracy behind it. For the past few years, India has been running propaganda that people of the Kukichin ethnic group from Bangladesh and Myanmar are taking refuge in India. Now if the bomb state is established, India will send a large number of Kukichin nationals from its territory to the bomb state. On the other hand, the Bengali-speaking people will also be forced out of that bomb state, that is, India will not stop at establishing bomb state. Rather, it will make the Kuki Chin ethnic group the majority population of the state. So there is no room for doubt that the state claimed by Mr. Nathan Baum will be an enlarged part of India. Even though Sikkim was annexed to India by plebiscite through Lendupadarji, 
it will not be surprising if this so-called bomb state is merged with RAM state in the future by Mr. Nathan Baum. In other words, we can assume that it is a part of the conspiracy to establish a Khan Bharat. Another geopolitical consideration behind India's activation of Mr. Nathan Baum is to the disputed Arunachal Pradesh which China has named Zamin. It is to divert China's attention. China is waiting to take full control of Zamin. For China, it is only a matter of time. Now Narendra Modi can't do anything if Arunachal Pradesh is occupied by China and made Chongin. Sit and suck your fingers. To achieve that, he is planning to open a new front around the Myanmar region of Bangladesh. India knows that access to the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean is a very important priority for China. China is implementing that through the BRI project on the border of Bangladesh over Myanmar. India is doing and playing various games thinking that a push here will divert China's attention from Arunachal Pradesh. India is not using its territory in this crime. Using the land of Bangladesh, its occupied land. Natam Bomb or murderer Hasina's Mirzafari government is just India's pawn in this misdeed. This is why we say that any incident in Bangladesh should be considered as a part of the ongoing geopolitical process in the region. It should be remembered that India has been illegally installing their bot mate Sheikh Hasina in power for the past 16 years to achieve her geopolitical interests.